What is good, everyone? This is your host, Deanna Kempel with Label Free Podcast. To live your best life, you must live label free. We have a very cool guest, very talented guest joining us from Las Vegas. She lives in a cool spot. Her name is Rachel West. She is a personal growth coach, certified trainer, and breakthrough expert, among many other things. Rachel, you've got a long list of accomplishments and things that you do to help people. Can you please introduce yourself and tell the audience a little bit about your background? Yes, thanks so much for having me today. I'm excited to be here. So yes, I'm a personal growth coach and my focus is mindset and mental health. My background is in neuro-linguistic programming or NLP. And basically that is a deeper study of psychology. It's the science and study of how your brain processes information, how you communicate with yourself and others. And your internal programming. So that's your behaviors, your beliefs, your attitude, your habits, your perceptions in life. And then I have also studied timeline therapy. So that goes hand in hand with NLP. And it's a holistic approach working with the unconscious mind in the use of active imagination. So it's discovering the root as to what's holding you back and preventing you from moving forward in those areas of life that you struggle with the most. Um, that could be through an addiction, anxiety, depression, self-sabotage, kind of those things that keep us stuck. Yeah. Um, so I've been coaching for about 15 months now um, and I kind of just fell into it. I didn't know what NLP was. I had never heard of it before. I owned a graphic design business for four years and stumbled into it. My business partner said, hey, there's an NLP boot camp. You should go check it out. Um, you know, I think this would be a benefit for us. So not knowing what it was, but trusting her, she was my business partner. I went for it and checked out the boot camp and learned that I wanted to, to study it for the communication side so that I could learn the different ways people communicate, how they process that information so that I could speak to them through marketing messages on a different sure. level. Yeah. Well, going through that entire program and, and discovering the tools, the knowledge, the modalities used in NLP therapy, I discovered that I no longer wanted to have that design business and that I wanted to start my own coaching business. I had discovered that I had been sabotaging that graphic design business to not work because it wasn't really what I wanted to be doing. I have been living my life in fear. I have been living my life going through the motion of life. You know, you as many school, people are. Yeah, you go to school, you go to college, you pick a career, and that's what I was doing. And I didn't want to sway from that because I didn't want to be a disappointment. I, to my family, to my friends, to the people who say, you know, this is what you do in life. This is what Saying you do. That, that box, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's what I was doing. And I had this graphic design business for four years and it was slowly growing, but I had this big grand vision for it. And, it, and I was pushing and I was doing all the things, wearing all the hats as the business owner. And yet something was just not allowing it to move forward. And I discovered that it was me. It was me that was holding it back because it wasn't what I wanted to be doing. It was just living life in, in motions and not being authentic to myself. Yeah. So then through that, I discovered another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, so when I was in kindergarten, I was diagnosed with a learning disability. So at five years old, I don't remember if it was a teacher, a parent, counselor, doctor, whoever told me I had this learning disability. So that, I took that belief and I believed that label. Yeah. And it funneled into other areas of my life. It funneled into not liking to read and not being a good reader. Because when I would read in grade school, I would have to read out loud in order to hear myself say the words and process the information. And because I had that label of a learning disability, I thought I was the only one who read like that. And I didn't want to be the only one, so I just chose not to read. Well, I'm just not going to read that because I don't want to be the only one. 
then funneled into writing. Well, I can't be a good writer if I don't read yeah. and if I'm not as smart as everyone else. And so I always struggled with writing. In school, you do reports, and I always struggled to reach, uh, to reach that minimum requirement. So in my NLP journey, I discovered I never had this learning disability. And it was just the way that I learned, the way that I processed information. So in that journey, I released that label that was given to me, which then funneled again, releasing that belief of not being a good reader, of not liking to read. I read almost every day now, which released that belief of not being a good writer. Yeah. And I just published my first co-authored book, um, The Successful Congrats. Woman's Mindset. Congratulations. So, so my message to people out there is that just because somebody tells you something, whatever it is, you don't have to believe that belief. You know, people are always labeling you with, you know, if you're pretty or ugly or the house you live in and the car you drive or the career you choose. Any, they'll, they'll find anything to label you with. Yep, for sure. The cool thing is you don't have to accept that belief. Yeah. Because it's not necessarily true. It's, it's their perception of the world. It's their perception of you. So you have actually, even as a coach, you have personal experience breaking through different barriers that have held you back in life. And you can really relate to a lot of your clients that way and understanding what that process is like, because that's something that has definitely um, affected your life in, in a couple different ways. Yeah, I think, I think people in general, in society, they, they feel like they have to stay in this box because that's what their parents said, or that's what your teachers say, or, or whoever they're listening to says, stay in this box and do this. So they think that that's what they have to do. And then on top of that, there's that, that fear, like yeah. it's comfortable here. So even yeah. though I'm not happy here, I'm staying here because it's what I know. And I don't know what's over there. Yeah. That's and so when I learned this about myself, I did a day long breakthrough process in this NLP training. And I was discovering all of these things about myself. The very next day when I woke up, I knew that I was no longer supposed to have that design agency. And I knew that I was supposed to start coaching. And when I tell a story to people, you know, I took two weeks. I had to build up the courage to talk to my business partner and tell her, you know, I didn't want to have it anymore. And I said, you know what, I'm going to give you three, three months. Luckily, she was going through this whole training process with me. So she got it. She understood it. Yeah. We're still friends. She's still running the business. That's great. She just knew that and understood why I wanted to be doing this. Yeah. And she supported it. So I said, Hey, I'll give you three months. We'll tie up any loose things. I'll sign everything over to you. Any projects we're working on, I'll finish it up. Three months, January 1st, I'm, I'm jumping. And people say, well, how, how can you do that? That's so brave of you, have so much courage. But it was really that day of discovery that I was living out of alignment with myself for 30 two, 33 years when I had this discovery of out of that alignment. Yeah. And so it was easy. It's like, no, I'm no longer going to wait. I'm not going to put what I want to do aside. I'm going to do it now. Yeah. And I just did it. And it was the best decision. What is good, everyone? This is your host, Deanna Kempel of Label Free Podcast. Live your best life. You must live label free. Ho, 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 ladies. The holidays came early, not only for you, but for your man here at Manscaped, the leading men's hygiene brand. Manscaped just launched new products that your man will actually use, including their all-new ultra-premium body wash and a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. Also, this awesome refined cologne. It smells so sexy. My man loves it. I love him wearing it, especially after he's 
all clean shaven, using the lawnmower 4.0 and trimming those nasty nose hairs and those ear hairs, you know, you know what I'm saying ladies? It's time to give the man in your life the gift of beautiful skin, hair, and balls this holiday season. Go to manscaped.com and use the code LABELFREE20 for 20% off and free shipping. That's right ladies, 20% off and free shipping with the code LABELFREE20 at manscaped.com. Amazing. So tell us about your process of, let's say someone, one of the audience members says, you know what, I really love her story. I want to work with her because I can relate to her and I can connect with her. What does that look like in, in, in regards to your process when you take on a new client or have a consultation? Yeah. So everyone is uniquely themselves and everyone struggles with different things. So I always offer a free consultation to see where they're at. What are they wanting help with? What are the goals and results they're wanting from this coaching? And am I the best fit for them? Can I help them reach those goals? Because the last thing I want to do is attempt to help somebody who I can't help. Right. So we need to discover all of that before we even move forward. Then it's where are they at and what are they wanting to do with those goals? Is it attending a workshop to get that overview, that awareness that they may not have? Is it doing group coaching where you can, you know, join a small group of people and kind of learn from each other and it's a safe environment where you can open up a little bit? Or do you want that one-on-one -on -one coaching? Yeah. So it's, it's customized to each person based on their needs and wants. Very good. Do you have like a success story of one of your clients that you could share? Yeah. So... I recently worked with a father and a son. The father came to me and he told, he was talking about his 14 year old son. And he's like, I understand he's 14, he's hormonal, but he's a little bit angry. And I don't know if this is him just being a hormonal teenager or if this is something deeper and more serious that I should kind of nip in the butt now, or do I just let it go? Sure. So I worked with them individually because I felt together they wouldn't communicate and open up with each other there. So I worked with the, with the dad first. And I, I taught him um, the different ways that people communicate. I taught him the different love languages, if you've ever read the five love languages, the different ways that people communicate. So the dad was very successful in his, in his career yeah. And so he would always buy the son stuff, whatever the son wanted, he would buy, he would take him on vacations. And so he thought that that was the coolest thing that he could provide his son with all this cool stuff. The son could care less about all of that. He didn't want the vacations and the baseball things and all, whatever. He wanted the time with his dad. Right. Because the dad was so successful and high up in his career, he was busy. Right. Busy working, busy building his corporate ladder, whatever. So helping him understand where the son was at, where he, and how he needed to meet him and how he needed to communicate him and understand that if his way of loving and communicating is gift giving, that's okay. But the son's is different. The son's right. is quality time. Right. So then I worked with the son to work through that anger, to understand his dad now, where the dad's coming from. He wants to provide for him. He wants him to have the best life. Right. And then giving him tools that can help him in those moments of anger. So if he's at school and kids are not being nice or you know typical teenage things that you're going through, how can you get yourself through that without having to turn to somebody? So I provided him with anchoring tools. Anchor is something like, you know, you're, you walk into a bakery and you smell the bread and it reminds you of your grandmother baking in your kitchen. Something that reminds you of something. Yeah. So I would teach him anchoring type tools for when he would get into those anger states sure. to help pull himself out of it. I so that. yeah, it was great for their relationship. They're, they both understand each other better and now they know how to communicate to each other. So how long did that process take with, the, with those two? 
It took about nine months working with them. Oh, wow. So that was, that's a while, but yeah, yeah. it was, it was the one-on-one individually, you know, and it's, and it's getting them to a place working on themselves to be able to understand the other better. Sure, sure, sure. Well, that's really cool. Congratulations on that. Um, so before I ask you to drop your links, I see you're a speaker. So you had talked about your book um, and you're the founder in the founder of Empowering Growth. Is that your book or is that your coaching business? My coaching business is called Empowering Growth and yep. the book is called The Successful Woman's Mindset. Oh, and you volunteer as well. Can you tell us about your volunteer work? Yeah, so I volunteer here in um, Las Vegas at Safe House. It's a women and children domestic violence shelter. So I'm a certified domestic victims advocate, which kind of which kind of goes hand in hand with that mental health, helping people through that stuck state, through that rough moment, that struggle that they're they're coming out of a bad situation, and how can I help them? through that time by just being their mentor, being there to listen or being there to be a resource for them. Maybe they need a new home. Maybe they need, you know, a new car or, or clothing or food or whatever they're needing it coming out of that environment that they're in. I'm that resource for them. That's great. I, I do a lot of work for a, called uh, Refuge for Women. They are an organization that help uh, rehabilitate uh, women that were victims of human trafficking because I'm a survivor myself. I've been through a lot of um, domestic violence too, a lot of abusive boyfriends. So I'm, um, it's very, it's great what you're doing. Uh, I, I think a lot of women are stuck in those situations for a very long time and never get out. You know, I, I'm a fighter. <laughs> so yeah, even if I'm in that situation, I'm fighting back. So it does not, it doesn't, you know, I'm like, I'm like, all right, let's go. <laughs> yeah. But it still does the damage, even though I'm a fighter, it still does the damage. And there are times when I feel like I'm not lovable. I'm not this, I'm not that. And, you know, you, you even though I've gone through a lot of work myself, you know, there are certain things that trigger me and, um, you know, we aren't perfect and we are a work in process. And so that's why I think it's so important what coaches, people like you, you coaches do, um, because people like me, <laughs> maybe not so extreme, maybe others out there, but we need, um, we need, you know, sometimes people need to find their way and they need a leader to, to show them a coach to, to help them get get on the right path and get to where they need to be. So I think that's really great what, what you do, Rachel. So if someone wanted to reach out to you and um, get in touch with you, can you tell all your links, where your book's at, all that good stuff? Yeah, so the best place to go uh, is my website, empoweringgrowthcoach.com. My book's there. You can find all my social media links to connect with me. You can find my phone number if you want to reach out or my email if you prefer that way. So everything's there, one spot, easy, empoweringgrowthcoach.com. Awesome. Before we wrap things up, Rachel, is there any, any like final words of wisdom or any advice that you'd like to leave with the audience? Yes. So I would say that the number one person we lie to the most is ourselves. So allow yourself to be honest with yourself in those areas of struggle and know that it's okay for you to reach out for help. I love it. That's beautiful. Beautifully put. Well, that being said, Rachel, thank you so much for being a guest on Label Free Podcast. You guys, this is your host, Deanna Kempel of Label Free Podcast. Live your best life. You must live label free. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll be back soon with more dynamic guests.